this, most of the dance music is in eight eights, okay? So every eight counts, there's a, a frame of music. And when you have four frames of eight, four counts of eight, it's about 15 seconds about. And generally within those 15 seconds, you have a block of time, a block of sound, and then it shifts. It's pretty logical. And when you connect to that, when you really understand that, and you work with that with your flags, all of a sudden people look at you and they go, wow, I see the music. I see what's going on there. And I think it just, it enhances the entire experience because you and the music come together. So what I wanna talk about today isn't necessarily a particular move, but it's how we listen to the music and how we express it. it might make you think a little bit different. It might make you try something. So um, when you are dancing and expressing yourself, connecting with the music, um, and we're talking about how music is structured, how it's put together, and you really just accentuate or enhance what you're hearing, and the, and the person watching you goes, wow, that's amazing. Your joy, all of that, it just, it explodes. It makes it so much bigger. Um, I wanna talk about an idea, holding, holding a move. When you hold a move, Think of what the person outside might be experiencing, might be seeing when they watch you flag. When you hold a move for a moment, it gives somebody an opportunity to, to take in what they're seeing. So a lot of times, flaggers can ramp up to a certain speed of their flags, two-handed flags. We can get into a certain speed, and we can hold it right there. And it can stay static for a long period of time because we're used to that energy and that flow. And that's... That's, that's excellent, certainly something to do. But if we wanna talk about varying it, and if the music is moving and changing and doing something different, here's a way to think about it. Somebody's watching you and you're holding one move, one particular move that you do and you're holding it. You can hold it there for longer than you may feel you'd like to, so that the audience member can really see a picture of what you're doing. And then when you change that move into something else, bam, it's like, that transition's a big deal. It makes it even more pronounced. And um, when you do this with the music, again, you're building and you're, you're making something bigger than what you may, you, may, uh, you may normally do if you just sustain the same movement and the same patterns throughout. So we're talking about variety and variation. Um, when you are doing, let's say, various moves, when you're doing two flag movements, and you're moving them all over your body, and you're just constantly going. That's a look, and it's an energy, and it's a feel, and people get that, moving all over, okay? And then when you hold it, all of a sudden, it makes a statement. So think of those two dualities, moving the flags all over your body, and then holding a move, okay? It makes a statement. Now, the music makes a statement too. A music can hold a, a sound, it can hold a rhythm, it can hold a, a, a note or, or whatever it's, it's, uh, it is in the, in the, move, in the movement, um, and then it'll change. And how do we connect to that? Structure is one way to think of that, okay? So if you're not used to counting, here's one thing you can try. I have a piece of music uh, I, I'm going to play, hopefully you can hear it. And it's in eight counts. Most, most dance music is in eight counts, as I said before. And it goes four counts of eight, and then it shifts. So what I'd like to do is give a quick demonstration of four, four, um, four counts of eight, and then a shift, four counts of eight, shift, four counts of eight, shift. So I'm only gonna be doing three moves. Now the moves, it doesn't matter what they are, but you'll notice when the music shifts, how it connects with the music, and it makes it more powerful. So I'm going to give it a try. When you walk with me Two, the five, six, seven, Seven, eight. 
tight around here. That song brings me so joy, so much joy. I hope what you notice there is that in every one of those four counts of eights, I held a move. And then bam, when you move into the next move that you're doing, it's like, wow. And it takes time to sink in for an audience person to sink into what you're doing. So often, um, what you see, or what you might see, and I'll give it a quick demonstration here, is flagging, okay? All kinds of different things like this, right? Now, nobody's saying that that's wrong at all. And in fact, it has its place when we flag. It has a different look. But what I want you to think about and what I want you to consider is the counts in the music and shifting at a point to as a way to connect, as a way to make something bigger. It's like, wow, I saw that. And I think when I've talked to people who haven't either flagged or haven't, um, or, or, or who are watching flag, when they see the flagger connecting with the music in that way. It's like, I see it. I understand you. I understand your joy. So any move that you do is fine. Any move at all. Um, but how do we ride that wave of music? Ride that tune in such a way that it's like, bam! You know, I'm gonna give you exactly what the music is giving me at this moment, which is an explosion into the next move. It takes a while for the mind to recognize and see and understand what you're doing in the next move. So you can hold it, hold it, four counts of eight, because I guarantee you, most music after those four counts of eight, is gonna have a different sound, bam, and then you switch into something different. You can play with that. You can use that in your flagging, and you can always, always go back to running around and doing multiple things within those four counts of eight. So what I wanted you to look at and to consider is, what does it mean to hold a move for that amount of time and why that amount of time to get people to, okay, I understand what you're doing. I get it, I see it, I feel the energy, I get it. And then when the music shifts, you shift. And it's because of that connection. I feel this is really important. I'm one with the music. And I think for many people, this comes intrinsically, it comes as part of what we do. It's just natural. And we shift when the music shifts. So this was a, this was a little discussion on, on how, how it is significant when we hold a move and we can build, we can build an energy when we do that. So that when that happens, bam, we're right there. And, um, Try, when you're, when you're flagging, listen to the music and give it a count. Count to eight four times and notice what happens when the music shifts. And see, play with that. See how it affects your flagging. Maybe it'll change the variety of what, of what you're doing. And notice how that feels. That's all. Enjoy. Everybody, I love you all. Every single flagger, we are, we are connected. We are really all in this together. And uh, for those flaggers in Palm Springs who did that video for for the world, for uh, we're all in this together, you know, it was beautiful. So thank you guys too.